When we were laid to rest in our palace, our women beat their breasts and lamented loudly our departure from the world of the living. They left us these small statues, placed in our tomb to continue mourning our lost lives, even when all Rasna... The hearth was the center of our home, and my wife always made sure the fire was blazing, even when I was away, managing our city business. In the fireplace, our servants would roast... The guests at our funerary banquet were surely impressed by the two bronze cauldrons used to prepare the feast. Their iron tripods raised them up so high that one could hardly see what was cooking inside. But I saw that everybody enjoyed themselves. Mm. You wonder what this is? Well, my family used it at the funeral banquet to serve wine mixed with honey and spices from the eastern countries. It made them a bit happier. They were so sad when losing me, but they are convinced I will live on forever. That is all. It is a shame they nailed these nice dishes to the ceiling, but that is the way we dedicate all these objects to the afterlife. We used such dishes in my court for banquets. The beautiful gold pectoral laid across my chest will serve to protect me during my transition into the afterlife, towards the gods. I love the Egyptian style and the fine craftsmanship. I'm so honored that my people gave me this as a token, so that I can stand next to the gods, whom I served in a humble way. Do you know what this is? It's a silver spindle. Spinning wool and weaving is an important part of the life of a Rasna woman of rank, but it is also a symbol of power to rule. You could compare it to the scepter that your kings and queens hold. My body is surrounded with a collection of silver vessels that we use during the funeral banquet, and that we will continue to use in the afterlife. Some are nailed to the wall to show their dedication for use in the afterlife. Look, this vessel carries the inscription Lathia. Try to read it, I bet you can. Our alphabet is quite like yours, but we write from right to left. The most beautiful object that my family gave me is this gold disc fibula, following an old tradition.
Well, this is me. Like my ancestors, who were also brave warriors, my body has been cremated and my ashes placed inside this great...